Hi guys. So how can we break down this question which reads, given that the period T of oscillation of a gas bubble from an explosion underwater depends on P, D and E, where P is the pressure, uh, rho is uh, the density and E is the total energy. So the first thing we're going to do is for each quantity starting with period, let's give their dimensions. Period has the dimensions M power zero, L power zero, T power one. Period is time. Our next quantity there is pressure. Pressure has the dimensions M, L negative one, T negative two. Next on the list we have, um, let's do density. So density rho has the dimensions M, L, negative 3. Remember, it's mass over volume. And lastly, we have the energy. Energy has the dimensions M, L, 2, T to the power negative 2. Now that we have the dimensions for each quantity, let's write the relation. So, period varies with pressure, uh, density, and energy. So what we can do is, we can write this as an equation as T is equals to, so let's bring in a constant. Okay. Pressure, rho, and energy. So to these expressions, we'll assign letters, let's use ABC. So to P, Let's write it properly. Okay, so we have P and rho and energy. So let's assign letters to them. So pressure can have the power A, density, power B, and energy. Or C. So K is a dimensionless constant. So what I'm going to do is this. Let's replace each quantity with its respective dimension. Starting with period on the left hand side. So period has the dimensions M power 0, L power 0, T power 1. Pressure has the dimensions M, L negative 1, T negative 2. Next is density. Now remember, uh, pressure has power A. Next, density rho. Density has the dimensions M, L to the power negative 3. And density has the power B. Lastly, we have energy. So energy has the dimensions M, L to T negative 2. And energy has the power C. Okay. So now our next step is to push in these powers A, B, C. So left hand side as it is, M power 0, L power 0, T power 1. All this is equals to, so if we push in power A into the first bracket, we'll have M power A, L power negative A, T power negative 2A. For the second bracket, we have M power B, L power minus 3B. For the third one, we have M power C, L power 2C, and T power negative 2C. So since everything is multiplying, let's group these uh, dimensions, meaning that for M, we'll just add the powers of M, for T, we'll add the powers of T, and for L, just like that. Left hand side as it is, power 0, power 0, t, power 1. So, if we're multiplying the bases are the same, we add the powers. So, add the powers of m. m has the powers a plus b plus c. l has the powers negative a minus 3b plus 2c. T has the powers 
negative 2a minus 2c. Okay. So now that we have the powers for all the dimensions, our task is just to compare the powers of each respective dimension. Starting with the powers of m. So powers of m, we have a plus b plus c. On the left hand side, m has power 0. Powers of L, we have negative A minus 3B plus 2C. Powers of T, we have negative 2A minus 2C. Sorry, powers of L, we're supposed to equate it to 0. Powers of T, we equate it to uh, 1. So just equating the powers of uh, each dimension from the left to the right. So we have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. So let's solve these three equations, then we come back and uh, conclude. So here are our three equations. So to solve these equations, um, what we can do is, let's get equation 1 and make b the subject of the formula. So this is what we get. From equation 1, if we're making b the subject, we're going to get b is equals to negative a minus c. Okay, we just made b the subject from equation 1. Then let's substitute it into equation 2. Into equation 2, we have negative a minus 3. There where there's b in equation 2, we replace it with negative a minus c plus 2c, or this is equal to 0. This gives us negative a plus 3a plus 3c plus 2c is equal to 0. So 2a plus 5c is equal to 0. Now what we formed here is equation number 4. So let's pick up number four and number three. Equation three is negative two a minus two c. All this is equals to one. Equation four is two a plus five c. All this is equals to zero. So we can eliminate by adding these two equations. If we add uh, 2a and negative 2a, we get a 0. We add 2c negative and 5c, we get uh, 3c. And this is equals to 1. We add 1 and 0. So we have the value of c. The value of c is 1 third. Since we have the value of c, we can find the value of a by choosing any of the equations. So let's pick up um, equation number 4. Equation number four is 2a is equals to negative 5c because the 5c just goes to the other side. So this becomes 2a, we have the value of c. So where there's c, let's replace c with our value of c which is 1 over 3. So 2a is equals to negative 5 3. If we divide both sides by a, sorry, both sides by 2, we'll get the value of a to be equals to negative 5 over 6. Alright, so we have c, we have a. Now let's find b. To find b, the equation that we're going to use is the subject of the formula that we made, this one here. So let's just bring it here. From our subject of the formula, we know that b is equals to negative a minus c. So b is equals to our a is negative 5 over 6. Our c is 1 third. So b equals to 
5 over 6 minus 1 over 3. Let's add the two fractions. So if we add these two, uh, this will give us 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 over 6. So the value of E is simply half. So in this case, we can clearly see that we have the value of A. Here's our A here. We have our value of B and we have our value of C. So now that we have ABC, let's see how we can conclude the question. Okay, so from the beginning, we know that A is negative 5 over 6. We know that B is half. And we know that C is 1 third. So we can just go ahead and uh, replace the values of ABC. Meaning that our formula will become uh, the period is equals to, so there's a constant there, K, pressure, P, raised to the power A. Let's do this. Pressure has power A. So that will be P, our value of A is negative 5 over 6. Okay. Our next quantity there is the density. Density has power B, which is half. And lastly, we have the energy. Energy has power 1 over 3. So since the pressure has a negative power, let's push it into the denominator. Hence, what we get is this. The period will be equals to. So in the numerator, we have a constant. You can just put the constant here. It's okay. Then our density, which is... Uh, having the power half, which is just the same as a square root, but I'll just leave them as powers. So our density, power half, uh, energy, or one third, which is just a cube root, divided by the pressure. Now, this pressure has the power five over six, because now it has gone in the denominator, so we can just have it as power over six. So we can rewrite this as K. So in the numerator there, Rho is in a square root. So rho is in a square root multiplied by energy is in a cube root. So this is a cube root for rho. And lastly, um, pressure is in the sixth root. Let's write it properly. Okay, so we're saying the density is in a square root. So we can write it like this. Then we have energy, it's in a cube root. And lastly, this one is in the sixth root, so that is P to the power five, and all this is in a sixth root. Like this. So this is the relation basically. So there we have it. Thank you very much.